Thank you so much for joining us here on Idaho Today. You know, beyond the red carpet and competition, the Miss Teen USA pageant at its core is about encouragement and also giving back to the community. And no one represents this spirit like Idaho's representative for Miss Teen USA. And she is back, y'all, after an incredible performance on the national stage. Jenna Beckstrom, we are so proud of you. So a huge congratulations. Thank you. But you were first runner up yes. on the national stage. Yes, I was. Goosebumps. I know. Goosebumps, I still girl. Can't believe it. That's so exciting. <laughs> Thank okay, you. and this is a big deal too, because this is the first time in a long yes. time that Idaho has had this level of recognition. Right. So it's yeah. the first time since two thousand eight. So wow. yeah. I'm still very excited. I still can't believe it happened, but it was amazing. Yes. Okay, well, fill us in. How was it? What was it like being on that national stage and being, you know, uh, in front of so much at such a high level? What was this like? Right. Incredible. I mean, okay. I've done pageants ever since I was little, so this has always been my end goal, always mm -hmm. what I aspired to do. So I was there for five days, mm -hmm. and it's five days of rehearsals, competition, activities, all the fun stuff, and it was just amazing. I mean, being surrounded by such confident, beautiful, smart, incredible young women, like-minded young women, was amazing. So it, it, was, it was a dream come true, really. And what were the levels of competition that you did on the national stage mm -hmm. that led to you becoming first runner-up? Tell us about that. Right, so we started off the day with um, national costume, and that was just mm -hmm. fun. That didn't count to our final score, but I was a Peregrine Falcon. I don't oh, know, yes, Raptor, you were. Which was amazing, Great. it was so fun. And then you go into interview, and that's just a sit down, one and one. There's five judges, they ask you questions about yourself, political questions, you know, what you think about certain topics, um, and then you go into active wear, and that's just really fun. It's kind of like the modeling, and then evening gown. Mm -hmm. And I got to wear this beautiful white evening gown on stage. I mean, it's so much fun. And what, what have you taken away from your time in competition? Because you said that you've done this ever since you've been little, right? right? And then now you went to the national stage. It clearly paid off, first runner <laughs> up. Uh, but what are some of the skills, though, that you learned doing this that you feel has improved you and allowed you to be the best you? Oh my gosh. I mean, time management mm -hmm. first. I mean, I'm a busy girl. I have a, yes. I have a lot on my plate. So managing all of that and being the best I can be, but also growth with my confidence and my public speaking. I mean, last year, I remember we did an interview and I was shaking. I mean, I still uh -huh. am a little bit, but I was <laughs> shaking. So the, yeah. the personal growth of this year has been incredible. The confidence, I've been able to speak a little clearer hold my head up a little higher, so it's been amazing. And your presentation, obviously, is fantastic. <laughs> you look absolutely marvelous. Thank you. So um, tell us about that moment, though, when you were crowned or when you were named first runner-up and you're standing right next to the next Miss USA. I mean, you've yes. got to be, or Miss Teen USA, you've, got, you've had to have had, like, your heart racing so loud and probably hearing it in your ears. Yeah. And you're like, what, what did you say? What's <laughs> yeah. happening? Right, Definitely. so walk us through those moments. Right, so again, Idaho hasn't placed since 2008. So yeah. going in there, my goal was top 16. There's 51 girls, all oh, the you states. you blew that away. Well, uh, <laughs> I, still, I, I think so, but um, when they called me for top 16, I was 14. They called me 14 out of the 16, so I was right there at the end. They called me and I was like, are you sure? Like, are, you I did are you sure? I did yes. it? Yeah. And uh -huh. so then they called me for top five. And I, I couldn't believe I was still shocked that I made top 16 back then. <laughs> I was like, wow. And so, you know, um, after you make top five, you answer an onstage question. Yes. And I remember walking back to my seat after I answered that top five question, feeling like I did the very best I could. And it, it was the best feeling ever. So when I was called, I was standing there with Farron, our new, new Miss Teen USA. She's incredible, by the way. I mean, so nice. So when I was called first runner up, it it was amazing. Definitely like one of the highlights of my and life. And when you're top five, though, walk us through because some of us didn't mm -hmm. see it. So do they do they go, you know, in fifth place and fourth and yes. third, and they're counting down? Yep, they count down. <laughs> okay, so if there was five, right? And then there was four, mm -hmm. and then there was three, yep. and then all of a sudden there was two, exactly. and it's you and this other young woman standing right. up there. Was your heart racing? Yes. So my mom was actually got to sit in the front row. And oh, I remember kind of like. I can just imagine how Peeking mama over at her like, Mom, we did it. <laughs> mom, I made top 16. I made top five. So, it, I mean, standing there with yeah. such, again, a smart, beautiful young woman was amazing. I, I couldn't believe it. So I really just wanted to go in there representing the incredible teens of Idaho and representing Idaho and really putting us on the map. Yeah. And so the fact that I got to do that, I mean, that's. 
Let's check well, on you've, everything. You've done that and then some, and we are so <laughs> proud of you. That Thank is so you. super exciting. So this is a Miss Teen USA, yes. and this is Teen. Yeah. So what's next for you beyond this? Oh my gosh, so I'm a dancer. I mean, dance has been my life for quite some years, so I'm gonna take these next few months until January to just train. I'll be traveling to New York where my sister lives and then I'll be going down to LA. And then starting in January, I got my per first professional dance job. <gasps> I will be- No kidding! Yep, I know, it's so exciting. I'll be touring with the dance convention. It's called Energy. So yes. I, I'm really excited to just learn and grow with that. And then hopefully I will make it on the Utah Valley dance team where I'll be going to college for my dance education degree. So again, dance is gonna be my future. I can't wait to get an education in it. and. Yeah, that's I'm really fantastic. excited for the next year. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so how much. Super exciting. Thank you. And I love how this has also been a platform to kind of help propel you into other amazing opportunities in your future. Exactly. You know, I think uh, sometimes when people uh, watch competitions like this, they're like, oh, you know, the crowning, that's the end. It's like, no, honestly, the competition, right. the crowning, it's the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's the beginning of exactly. so many other amazing things to yeah. come, right? Mm -hmm. Regardless if you walk away with a crown or not, it's just the fact that you went through this process and that you've achieved so much as an individual right. yourself. Now you have all these tools to do even greater things. Mm -hmm. So we are so proud of you, Jenna. Thank you. So super exciting. Thank Can't you. wait to see you on your national Thank tour you. and your <laughs> your dance uh, with your dance team. And then I don't know, maybe one day, maybe we'll also see you in the misses, right? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. You never know. <laughs> Thank well, you, you certainly got what it takes, my friend. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, everyone, stick around because we have a lot more to come right here on IDO today. Right after the break, we'll be.